This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is the new action button. You can have it act like a mute switch or open your camera, but I'm actually having it run a shortcut where I get all these different options, and then I can trigger it anywhere in the phone. I'll walk you through how to adjust the action button settings, and then how to build this shortcut from scratch step by step. Let's get into it. Now you can still program the action button to do what the mute switch did. Now if you go to the settings app, you'll, you'll see a new action button menu. Yes, this is the only setting screen that looks anything like this. I don't know why Apple made it. I guess it's kind of cool, maybe Apple Vision Pro-like. But I wanted it to do a little more than just one action, so I created a shortcut called the Action Button Menu. Now when I hold the Action Button, I actually get a menu that pops up. Now this is running a shortcut, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But here on this menu, I put the mute toggle right up at the top. With iOS 17 and the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro only, there is a new shortcuts action that lets you mute the phone. You cannot use the shortcuts action on any other phone, even the 14 Pro or anything earlier. So the top of the menu is to toggle the mute state. I can also choose to set a focus mode from this menu. I can do rotation lock or orientation lock to landscape or portrait, open the camera, listen to a podcast, run a home kit scene, open the highlight camera app, or if I need to change the shortcut, I have my open shortcuts command there. And if I choose home scene, I actually have another menu that pops up that lets me run a specific home kit scene. Not only that, but the action button will actually function differently if I have a focus mode enabled. So now I'm in my filming focus mode. Now I haven't changed the setting on the action button, but because I'm in a focus mode, if I hold the action button, now it's actually gonna launch the camera. I'll show you how to do that right now. If I go into the shortcuts app, this is the shortcut I've built. It's the action button menu. If we jump into it, now there's a lot of steps, but I'm going to walk you through how to build this in just a minute. The first step of this shortcut is actually to get the current focus mode. And next, if current focus mode does not have any value, that's a little technical talk, but basically if there is no focus mode enabled, so focus modes are totally off, in that case, show this menu. And this menu action then has a bunch of options, and every menu option has different actions. For instance, the mute toggle, there's a toggle silent mode action now in iOS 17. Set focus mode. I can toggle orientation lock, which can I just say, do you remember the rotation lock hardware slider that used to be on the iPad? You can actually just slide that over and you would lock rotation. Now I kind of want an action button on the iPad too. And then so on and so forth. And then in my home scene action, if I choose that from the menu, this is a secondary menu that will appear with some of my specific home kit scenes. Now at the bottom of this if state, if there is a focus mode enabled currently, in that case, just open the camera from the action button. Now it would be nice if in future iOS updates you can actually program the action button to change per focus mode. Right now when you go to create or edit a focus mode there are multiple options, especially for the always on display. And I can see an action button option just right here. And they could have that crazy UI come up again and then just choose the action button function for each focus mode. But for right now you can hack it with shortcuts. So let's build an action button shortcut together. Now I know this can be tedious, so if you just want to download the shortcut that I have created, you will have to choose some of your own HomeKit scenes and you can still adjust it, but the link to this shortcut is down in the video description. And of course, you know, check out videos, like, subscribe, all that. But if you're gonna stick around, let's create the shortcut step by step. All right, so let's open the shortcuts app again and we'll go back out to create a new shortcut. I'll hit the plus button. I always try to name my shortcuts right away, and uh, let's just call this the action beta. Now, if you don't really care about focus mode status and you just want to create a menu, you can add an action and then search for menu, choose from menu, and this is where you customize the menu that pops up for the action button. This is just text that appears in the top of the shortcut, and now in the menu we can choose a few things. Let's say you want the top choice to be mute toggle, because we can actually choose for it to just toggle back and forth. And then for the second action, let's choose open camera. Now I do like to add emojis at the beginning of each menu option, mostly because it just visually helps me decide what it is faster, but you don't have to put that. Now let's say we just want this two option menu, mute toggle, and then open camera. Now the action is actually called silent mode, so let me search for that. And here we have set silent mode, it's under the scripting option. I'm gonna tap and hold on this action, and then put it under the mute toggle menu choice. Now instead of having turn silent mode on, I'm gonna tap where it says turn and choose toggle. Now it's gonna to toggle back and forth between silent mode whenever I hit the action button and this menu option. Now for open camera, we're gonna search for another action called open app. I'll tap that. And if you tap an action without tapping and holding and putting it in the right place, you can still tap and hold it and then put it under the menu option. Now for open, we could choose any app we want. Again, camera is its own app. And now we have a menu that'll come up where we can toggle the mute or open the camera. Now if you wanted the action button to just open a single app, you can just have this one action open camera, and then choose a shortcut that just had that one action. So again, pretty simple menu. Let's go and choose this for our action button shortcut so we can see if it works. We have our action beta menu. 
We'll hold the action button, and there we have our little menu, mute toggle and open camera. I'm gonna to toggle mute real quick. Now I've muted the device. By the way, if you have a 15 Pro or Pro Max, when your device is muted, there's now an icon in the top left corner in the status bar. You can actually turn that off if you want to. For that, go to sounds and haptics, and then where it says show in status bar, you can untoggle that and now it'll go away. So let's go back to our action beta shortcut. We built pretty a simple action here. Now let's say you actually want it to change depending on focus mode. So for that, now let's search for the action focus. And down here at the bottom, let's get get current focus. So now the shortcut is gonna get the current focus mode first. Now we can do an if statement. Now the weird thing here is if we add an if statement right after the get current focus mode, the only options you have is if focus mode has value or does not have any value, which is not very helpful. So in order to make this work to actually change depending on focus mode, I'm actually gonna do a text block and have this text block actually become the name of that focus mode. And then from there, I'm going to set a variable and I'm gonna name this focus and that's just the variable name. Now, we need to have these three steps in order for it to work based on focus mode. Now I'm going to add my if statement. Now that I've gone through these steps, I cleared that if statement. Now I'm gonna say if select variable, my focus, and under condition, you see now I have more options. So I'm gonna say if focus is, and I can put the name of my focus mode, which is filming. Now I can say if my focus mode is filming, now let's do the open app and let's go to camera. So now if the focus mode is my filming, it's gonna open the camera. Now let's see if this works. I'm gonna go into my filming focus mode, hold the action button, and now it's opened the camera. Pretty sweet. Let's go back into that shortcut. One of my other focus modes is called weekend. So I'm gonna add another if statement. So if, I'm gonna go back and choose the variable, if focus is, and now I'm gonna type the word weekend because I know that's the name of my focus. And let's just do another easy open app. But once the weekend, I'm having fun, so I'm gonna open the calculator. So if my focus is filming, it opens the camera. If it's the weekend, it opens the calculator. Let's test this out. Let me go to my weekend focus mode. And now if I hold the action button, Boom, calculator. And if I switch my focus mode back to filming, hold the action button and now it opens the camera. So the action button function can change based on my focus mode. Now, of course, you're gonna want it to do something if there is no focus mode enabled. So I'm gonna do another if statement, clear that, go back and do the focus variable. And I'm gonna say does not have any value. Then I'm actually going to run the action button shortcut I already had set up. So I'm gonna search for the action run shortcut. I'm gonna choose my action button menu shortcut, hit done. And now if we leave our focus mode, so there's no focus mode enabled at all, and I hit the action button. Of course I had to allow another shortcut. Now I have the action button menu that I set up at first. And now the function of that action button is gonna change per focus mode. So no focus mode, it pulls up my menu and that shortcut I created before. If I go to my filming focus mode, I hold the action button and it opens the camera. If I go to my weekend focus mode and it opens the calculator. So you can literally change the function of the action button every time you're in a different focus mode. Now, depending on how many focus modes you have on your phone, you'll need to create another if statement and then do the specific name of your focus mode. Remember, this has to match your focus mode names, not mine. And then you can have the action button do whatever you would like, change per focus mode, and focus modes change per schedule if you have that set up and now you can supercharge your action button. But let me know if you have any questions on creating a shortcut for your action button, or if you're running into any issues, leave a comment below this video, or just drop a comment on how you're gonna use your action button and a shortcut that you create, hopefully using this video as a template. Again, if you want a link to the shortcut that I made for that action button menu, you can find that in the video description. Like, subscribe, all of that. And I just did a video on all the different USB-C devices you can now connect to your iPhone 15 or 15 Pro. You can check out that video and another really great one right here.